everyone welcome back to my channel um, today it is Monday October 25th and it is the last week of Halloween and we are pretty sad here <laughs> but at the same time we're going to enjoy it and then business wise I'm getting prepared to launch my Christmas collection um, if you guys hear Jack Skellington in the background that's Milo watching this movie for the third time today <laughs> um, he's pretty sad also that Halloween is almost over yeah so today we're actually going to the Halloween store um, to get like see if they have pumpkin carving stuff and then to see if we can get Damien a costume possibly maybe mine too I don't know I kind of don't want to waste money on an actual costume I actually had this black dress here but I'm not sure if we're gonna go to a Halloween party or not um, but if we go to my family's on Sunday, I feel like this is a little bit too skimpy and short to wear around kids. Um, so that's why I was considering getting a Halloween costume. The like official one with the long dress. Or I might try to go to the thrift store again to try to find a black dress. Because um, I've had no luck. And I don't want to pay $50 for each item on Amazon. So yeah. But I'm just going to finish working here and then I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit more maybe about like some Christmas stuff um, and then show you guys the kids costumes and yeah I have to charge my camera battery so I will see you guys soon. <laughs> okay guys so Damien came home early and I actually just got a package with some more vinyl so I can finish the shirt I was starting this morning before I let you guys go. Um, I was working on a Selena shirt and I ran out of vinyl so it came just on time um, and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open this package and it's nothing special I guess I can show you guys what my top three vinyls are I didn't buy anything extra this time normally I do but I'm trying to be really strict with my business budget now I just finished budgeting for the week and slash the month because I'm getting more into reselling um, and having my online thrift store. So I currently am working with three businesses right now. Luna Orion Co., which is like my top all-time priority. Um, Earth Thrift House, which is kind of like, you know, it's pretty up there too, which is what I'm working on. Um, I'm now starting to go source and purchase things to resell instead of just reselling my kids clothes uh, and I recently had a yard sale as well to get rid of like some of the stuff that I don't really want to list and at the same time putting all that clothes out gave me a chance to kind of pick the things out that I do want to resell that was that were in those bins so yeah that that one and then organized hummingbird which is my sticker planner stickers kind of organization stuff that's kind of like lower priority because i don't have to do that as often as i have to work on like earth thrift house and luna orion co that's kind of a seasonal thing um so so that's like more easier for me quick i can do that like once a season it's pretty fast so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the vinyls and then I've had this shirt up for like ever never listed it um, and yeah I need to list it but I, I have like a new setup now to take pictures for my um, like online reselling and I was working on a website for it but um I find it easier to like sell through Instagram and on the platforms that already exist. So that's what I've been doing. Eventually I do want to have a website so that people can go, but at the time I'm not ready to invest money into that. I don't I'm trying to be more strict with like I said my business budget. So um yeah, so that's what I'm doing. You guys can actually follow. I'll put the Instagrams down below for all three of my businesses. Um and you guys can follow there. So I'm gonna show you guys the three finals that I buy black is like number one um, this one is it's number two because I use this for two of my highest selling Selena shirts and then this is like for one of the 
um, one of the shirts. So these are the three that I'm constantly buying. Uh, I always tell myself to buy the bigger roll. There's a bigger one. This is the five feet one. But um, it gets so expensive. I think it would be like $100 if I bought these three, which is worth it. But again, I'm trying to be smart with smarter with my money. Because all this time, the first year that I've had my business, I basically have been writing off every expense and all that stuff. So I want to get used to putting aside taxes, putting aside um, um, expense money, and then taking home some pay because... It is a lot of work for me and I do want to contribute to my family expenses so I have to be more strict with that so if there's not money to be like buying t-shirts and new materials or like um, subscriptions and stuff like that because it all adds up then I can't be doing it so yeah so that's like a whole separate video um, I do plan on show you guys kind of how I do I am doing my business expenses I've only done it for one month this is the second month so October I think I, no actually October is the first month that I've really been a little bit more strict with that so it's been hard because uh, when you have your own business you have a lot of like new ideas and you can focus a lot on innovating and stuff but you have to remember to pay yourself and also remember that you know tax day does come and um, although I have an LLC, that's why I have been writing off my expenses. But we're trying to buy property and stuff, so I need to be more strict with like taking home some pay and paying myself and separating that from my business instead of just like buying coffee once in a while and then spending the rest all on my business. I push myself harder in my businesses so that I can take home, you know, bigger take home pays and put that aside along with his savings too. Um, for a home. I don't want to use all of our savings to buy a home and then have no savings Because uh, I feel like when you have a home you need to have that extra cushion of money Especially if you plan on remodeling a home and stuff Which is what we plan to do like this first home or I, I don't even know what we're gonna buy first But the first property that we buy is not our forever home So I'm kind of thinking of moving into a new apartment um, with more space it's gonna cost more because where we live at right now I love it here I just I feel like there's not enough space and I'm constantly getting rid of things and I don't know we just like we outgrew this place a uh, two but then when I think of paying for a two-bedroom apartment around the same area it feels like it's not worth it because that's money that we could be putting aside for saving a home which is what we're doing um, but yeah that's just that's like where my life is at right now <laughs> so I'm trying to get more strict um, I have to make more videos for you guys more content uh, because it excites me to like wake up and do everything that I'm doing because I love to show other people I'm even thinking of doing like a craft Christmas or something where it's not even really related to my business at all I just I love crafting things I love making things so I I have a lot of like extra material of ideas that I've had in the past and I ended up not going through with it because it's not something that like you can only focus on so much uh, when you have a business you have to like niche down so you can't have so much um, so I have a lot of extra material on things that I don't plan on using I know that I can use it in the future for like making t-shirts and for sure for making tutus um, but there's like some stuff that I need to get rid of and use up just to make more space so I that is on my list so subscribe to my channel if that is something that you would look forward to like a craft miss Christmas or something like that I don't know what I would name it and basically I would we would do a craft a day maybe I can do my first live ever I don't know um, but yeah that's where I'm at right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish making this shirt and I think the last thing I will do for the day is show you guys kind of my reselling picture photo shoot setup which is in the living room um but yeah i have a lot of work to do today so i also have like halloween stuff to do with the kids so i have a busy day um but i'm gonna finish the shirt so i can ship it out i also have to ship out two items let me show you guys those two items okay so damien is actually sleeping i don't know if i mentioned that already so i have to close the door because he's like watching all of our company extremely loud um, okay, so I sold this today or yesterday this weekend. Um, it's a leopard cardigan. This was Jade's 
So if you guys also like to, I like, I love to watch since I'm trying to get into that business. I love to watch and see what people sell, but these are not like extremely profitable items. Um, these are things that were already in my kids' closet and I resold. I can't remember how much I sold this for. I think it was eleven dollars. Um, so yeah, but that's not the take-home pay. So, although it sounds great in the beginning, like this week I get paid a hundred and thirty dollars from Etsy. That's after their fees, and then my business bank charges like another fee. So it's crazy, but. Yeah, so this is a Sesame Street with H&M hoodie. And it's like a faux Sherpa or something like that. Um, and it has Cookie Monster on it. That I actually bought this for Milo when he turned two and we took him to the Sesame Street concert. Um, and yeah, it doesn't fit him at all. We were still squeezing him in like last year in this. Um, but it doesn't fit him anymore, so I sold this one for $28, and I was telling my mom I bought this for like less than $20, um, and it sold for $28, and the reason I price certain things really high, like of my kids' closet stuff, is because sometimes I don't want to get rid of it, and this was one of the pieces I was like, okay, I'm gonna price it at $28, and hopefully nobody buys it, and I can just save it. Um, it can sit there before I change my, like, so I can change my mind and keep it, but no, somebody bought it. So, yeah. And that's it. That's all I sold. Plus the Selena shirt, which I'm going to get making. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys the shirt once I'm done with it. So here is the Selena shirt. This is like the number one seller. But I have to package it and then pick up Jade. And we're going to the Halloween store, so I'll see you guys when we get back. Hi guys, I wanted to show you guys something really cute. So I got these cute little bags from Marshalls and I'm using them to hold some candles that I bought for gifts. Um, and then I bought these cute little gift card boxes because I will definitely be giving gift cards um, as the children get older. I feel like it's more difficult to choose gifts, but I still like to give something that I think they would like. And then these are the candles I bought. I bought them in every tent so that I can give them away as a gift. I think the packaging is really cute. And then you can give like this alone. Or you can put like um, something else in the bag. But I think this is just a cute little gift and it's not that expensive and they smell extremely good um, and if you look at the not the normal like retail prices they're a lot pricier than what you're going to pay at Marshalls of course um, but it's a really thoughtful gift especially when you have a huge family I feel like these are just something that anybody could use especially like the women in your family um, I also bought some like coffee cups travel cups for my parent-in-laws my mother and father-in-law I bought him this one with the straw so that he can drink like his coffee or he buys like soda and then I bought her one too let me show you guys this one I bought her like a cute little leopard print one and again these were like no more than like eight dollars I think this is hers and you know she takes the kids to school in the morning so I think that's something really cute and then like a mug with a candle that's I don't know to me that's like really thoughtful and something that everybody could use especially the parents um, so yeah and then I got some Christmas stuff at Target I know I did like no in the beginning of this vlog it was like two weeks ago um, so yeah so I got some stuff from Target also this is these are dinosaur ornaments we have to go back and get Jade hers. I told her what they look like, and I wasn't sure if she was going to like them, and she said yes, she wants to go back and get them. Because when we went, it was just um, me and Milo, so... Ah, I don't know. There we go. So these do come with hooks. They have a mini tree section, so this is for a mini tree, and I'm actually thinking of getting, like, a big tree because we have only a tabletop tree. I'm thinking of getting an actual mini tree. They're like $50 I think at Target. 
Um, and then they have this like mini star. I got the last one there. I believe this is battery operated. Yeah, this requires battery. So it's battery operated. This is the LED lit tree topper. Um, and then I got these cool battery operated. Um, these are the dew drop net. So this is off. Uh, I don't know how this works. <laughs> Excuse me. But I bought two of these because they're three feet. So I'm not sure if it's like string lights or net. I'm not sure. But I want to put them outside so that when we get home, the kids could, um, like, you know, feel Christmassy. And then I got these mini ornaments. These were $5 at Target also. There's 25 of them in here. They didn't have a large selection of colors. They had like this. Um, this was the most Christmassy to me. The other one was like blue and blue and white me blue and silver blue white and silver and these were five dollars as well i feel like target um their stuff is like a little bit overpriced but their stuff is really cute like you're not gonna find it anywhere else so i just went ahead and then these lights were ten dollars each um but i had a gift card plus the five percent off um and always check your target circle also for coupons they didn't have a lot of stuff for Christmas, just like um, a 20% off for toys. Oh, that's a, something else. But yeah, so I have a few of these to pack, package. <laughs> I have a few of these to like gift wrap. And then I have some toys in the garage for the kids, which I will show you guys probably later. I want to do a video of like gift ideas that are not that, you know, expensive or maybe you can do for your kids. I know not everybody likes to buy toys for their kids. So I want to create a little list of like thoughtful gift ideas for your kids from ages. My kids are from 4 to 10. So yeah, I hope you guys like this little mini haul in the middle of this vlog that I'm going to do a compilation of because yeah, I just, I have been all over the place like usual. Um, I actually take out some of this stuff here. I had a rack here. Um, I have a Christmas tutu to make. I have this stuff to list, plus a men's jacket to put in the um, laundry. But yeah, I have quite a few stuff to go through. I want to get this stuff organized and out of the way before I start doing anything else. So, yeah. 